Tom Vial has 19 foxhole shots. Can he make it number 20 here? It's about 10 riders down from the inside gate, and Tom Vial alongside Maxim Renault. Those two go in. Oh, and he lost the front end going in. Did he still manage to pick up the foxhole shot? Well, it's his teammate who leads the way, Rene Hoffer. Oh, we've got riders down, a rider down. Was it Guadagnini that went upside down? Harup is down there as well, so to Bastian Bodam. But as we emerge through turn four, all of a sudden, Maxim Renault alongside the KTM of Rennie Hoffer takes over the lead on the first lap. And Vial just behind him in third, he hits in fourth, so two Montreux Yamaha's first and fourth, the two Red Bull KTM's second and third. Kaido Wolf is next, and then looks like Andrea Adamo as we peel our way through. It might have been Langenfelder that went upside down into turn two, actually. Renault leads, off a second, Vial third, Kiet's looking to go around the outside. And he does find his way into third place. That pass on Tom Vial. Got one thing on his mind, taking back second place in the championship over the next four races. Two today, two on Wednesday. Pushes the Frenchman back into four. Rockstar and he just finally going around the outside. Another one getting into a bit of a bar banging session with Adama, I think. And uh, did find his way through. No, we'll hit the line ahead of everybody else at the end of the lap. Hoffer second, Giet's third. Three races remain. Two more, of course, on Wednesday. Oh, one or two riders tried to go. Peter Pollock there, right in the centre of the gate. Tom Vial at the inside this time. Gets a better start and holds. The lead going into the second corner. His teammate right there behind him as uh, one or two riders go rock climbing. Hits in third place. What an in fourth. So three KTMs and a Yamaha. Just behind them. As we come through this turn five, the left hand of Guadagnini gets squeezed to the bank there by Yago Kitts. Uh, Jed Beaton is right there. Langenfeld a gifting to Wolf Bodam Renault in 10th uh, place. Hara up to 11th, or in 11th on the opening lap, I should say. And then Rakuski, Penser, Rizzi, just uh, getting a little bit out of line there. The riders in third and fourth. And again, going defensive. Well, holds up to that third place, does Yago Kitz from Mattia Guadagnini. Looking to challenge Rene Hoffer at the first time of Baskin as well, but it's Vial who leads. They head down the back straight and uphill for the first time. Beaton and Langenfelder get squeezed to the inside, heading uphill. They're in fifth and sixth position as Yago Gitz looks to go around the outside. It's a bit firmer dirt on that turn. Almost into the rear wheel of the KTM once again. Yago Gitz is the Top three just gradually pulling clear on this opening lap, but he does get his way up the inside. They touch, and uh, Hoffer is down. Hoffer goes down then on the opening lap from second position. He was already on the inside, and uh, not sure if Hoffer knew he was there, but the gap wasn't there from the outside going in. 